All right, boys and girls, take out Cam Jansen and the Mystery of the Dinosaur Bones. We're going to do chapter by chapter. Also, take out your Cam Jansen and the Mystery of the Dinosaur Bones worksheet packet, okay? We're going to do the first page in this video. So let's get started and read our story. Open up to chapter one, which is on page one. Slurp. Cam Jansen was drinking milk through a straw. She tilted the container to get the last few drops. Cam was eating lunch in the cafeteria of the Kurt Daub Museum. She was there with her fifth grade class. Her friend Eric Shelton was sitting next to her. Cam pointed to the teacher. The teacher was standing on a chair with a finger over her mouth. Look, Cam said to Eric, Miss Benson is waiting for us to be quiet. Our tour will begin in 20 minutes, Miss Benson said. But first, I must ask those of you who brought cameras along to keep your cameras in their cases. The taking of photographs in the museum is not allowed. Miss Benson got down from the chair. See, Cam said to Eric, I told you not to bring your camera. Last time I was here, someone was told to leave the museum because he was taking pictures. Well, Eric said, maybe I can't take pictures, but you can. Take a picture of me now with your mental camera. Cam's mental camera is her memory. She can take one look at a page in a book, close her eyes, and remember every word on the page. It's easy for me, Cam often explained. I have a photograph of the page stored in my brain. When I want to remember what I saw, I just look at the photograph. When people found out about Cam's amazing photographic memory, they stopped using her real name, Jennifer, they started calling her the camera. <laughs> Soon, the camera was shortened to Cam. Cam looked straight at Eric and said, click. She always said click when she wanted to remember something. Cam says that click is the sound her mental camera makes when it takes a picture. Close your eyes, Eric said. Now what do you remember? Cam thought for a moment. Then she said, there's a drop of mustard on your collar. You should wipe it off. Eric looked down. There was a drop of mustard on his collar. He took a napkin and wiped it off. On the side of the milk container you just bought, Cam went on, it says Edna's. Our cows send you their love and their milk. You're wearing a blue shirt. The top button of the shirt once came off and someone sewed it back on. You're right, Eric said, but how did you know about the button? Cam opened her eyes. It's the thread, she said. I remembered that the top button was sewn on with white thread. The other buttons have light blue thread. Miss Benson was standing on a, chair, on a chair again. She said to the class, clean your tables and then get into a double line. Cam and Eric quickly threw away the empty milk containers and the wrappings from their lunches. Then they got in line. Miss Benson led the class up the stairs to the museum lobby. They were met there by a young woman in a purple dress. I'm Janet, Ta Janet Tyler, the woman in the purple dress said. I will be your guide. Please stay together and follow me. The guide led the class to the air travel room. She pointed out the models of the earliest flying machines. There was a full-size model of the 1903 Wright Brothers airplane. Miss Tyler took the class to a weather station room with a solar energy exhibit. Then she led the class into a large room with a very high ceiling. This next exhibit is my favorite, the guide told the class. Mine too, Cam whispered to Eric. All right, that's the end of chapter one. Okay, we're gonna keep our book aside and we're gonna get started on chapter one worksheet, okay? We're gonna answer these four questions. So the first question, why does Miss Benson tell her class to put away their cameras? Why does she do that? Well, let's look back at the first page, because it was right away in the beginning. Okay, so let's look at page two. So here's page three, this one's page two. But first I must ask those of you who brought cameras along to keep your cameras in their cases. The taking of photographs in the museum is not allowed. So why does Miss Benson tell her class to put away their cameras? Miss Benson tells her class to put 
to put away their cameras because why? Remember, we rewrite that question if we want to work in that full sentence. So Miss Benson tells her class to put away their cameras because what is it? Taking the photographs in the museum is not allowed. Taking pictures in the museum is not, and look, I ran out of space, but I'm going to keep going because I have a little bit of room, allowed, okay? So Miss Benson tells her class to put away their cameras because taking pictures in the museum is not allowed. Why doesn't Cam care about the no camera rule? Why doesn't Cam care about that? She didn't bring her camera because she knew the last time she wasn't allowed to, but would she bring a camera anyways? Remember Eric says, well, maybe I can't take pictures, but you can take a picture of me now with your mental camera. So why doesn't Cam care about the no camera rule? Cam has a what? Cam has a mental camera. Let's think about what that means again. A mental camera means she can look at something. And what's that word she says? Click when she wants to take that picture and then she stores it in her brain and she can remember everything from that. That's a pretty cool thing to have, okay? The next question, what does Cam remember about Eric when she closes her eyes? List at least three. I'm gonna give you one. You need to come up with two more because you have to come up with three. Okay, so the cult started calling her Cam. Close your eyes, Eric said. Now what do you remember? Cam thought for a moment, then she said, there's a drop of mustard on your collar. So the first thing she remembered is a drop of mustard on whose collar? On Eric's collar. Take a look in the picture. Eric's wiping off the drop of mustard. Keep reading this page to write two more, okay? Or two more, write down here, sorry. Write two more. What does Cam remember about Eric when she closes her eyes? And the last one, who is Janet Taylor? Janet Taylor, or Tyler, I'm sorry. Janet Tyler is, and who is Janet Tyler? Let's keep going. Oh, here it talks about Miss Tyler. Look at right here, I'm Janet Tyler, the woman in the purple dress said. I will be your guide. Please stay together and follow me. So Janet Tyler is who? What is she? All right, finish this off. Great work for chapter one. I'll be posting chapter two next.